Optimism that we could turn the tide on the pandemic is growing among healthcare workers tonight as many are now experiencing what it's like to be vaccinated against COVID-19. Here's NBC 15's Corey Pippen with one local doctor's message to the public. A chief medical officer at Infirmary Health views the vaccine as a light at the end of the tunnel when many healthcare workers are still fighting to save lives. So if we can get through this holiday season, get enough people vaccinated, we're really uh, you know, on the cusp of turning the tide on the whole pandemic. This video shows Dr. Darren Scrogi, chief medical informatics officer with Infirmary Health, getting the first dose of Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine, supply which was shipped to Thomas Hospital in Fairhope and now stored in special freezers. Compared to the flu shot, it was the same or less intense in terms of the injection itself. The longest part is waiting the 15 minutes after you have the shot done for them to observe and make sure you don't have any reaction. Dr. Scrogi says other than some soreness in his arm, the process has been painless, but the vaccine has been the center of both optimism and concern. State health officials say rumors alleging severe allergic reactions and even a death among vaccinated healthcare workers are false. Once it's in your body, it does what it does and it's gone. And so there's not anything in there. There's no microchip or lasting effect from it. This is technology and science that's well understood. At Providence Hospital in Mobile, healthcare staff aren't required to take the vaccine, but officials say most are jumping at the chance. We don't want to lose anybody else. We don't want to see families impacted by this. So I think you know today is that first strike back. I hope we end up acting as an example and a light to the community that says, okay, this is safe, this is okay, look, we took it. Once we get enough people taking it, that's when we really start to see the transmission rate slow and turn around and the hospitalizations go down. That's when life is gonna start to return to normal. Health officials are still encouraging people to wear masks and social distance because it could be summer before the vaccine is available to everyone. In Baldwin County tonight, I'm Corey Pippen. NBC 15 News.